Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Fun Tech Reviews here. Today we're going to do something pretty crazy. We're going to use the Roomba J7 and we're going to test its poop avoidance. I have some real dog poop I'm going to lay down, so a trigger warning if you're grossed out easily. I don't want you to get sick. I'm also going to put down some other obstacles as well just to see how well it does. So let's get started. I had two scientists willing to provide us a test sample for today's video. Alright guys, so I got the living room set up here. I put down a dog toy. Uh, because sometimes these dog toys get sucked up by the S9 and they like to run around everywhere. So hopefully the J7 can avoid dog toys. Put a charging cord over there. I'm going to expand it out just a little bit more so it kind of covers this whole area. Put a table chair there just to see how well it navigates around that. And of course, dog poop. So uh, just, just to show you, I'm just going to show you that this is real dog poop. This isn't fake. Look at that chunker. So, all right, yeah, let's get this thing started. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of nervous for this. I hope it doesn't ruin my $600 robot, or $800 robot. All right, so it's coming in for the dog toy now. Let's see if it avoids it or just kind of pushes it out of the way. And it looks like it just kind of pushed them out of the way. And I think with time, as these are brought out more, um, and they start updating the database, he'll probably start noticing things like dog toys and uh, things like that. Um, I think the main issue though is poop for sure because a lot of people have dogs or cats or any other type of animal and you know they have accidents in the house sometimes and I've been there where I've had uh, robot vacuums suck over my dog's poop and it wasn't a fun time to clean up, let's just say that. So it struggles a little bit with the chair legs so far. I'm not sure if it's because of the color black or if it's just not trained yet to do that. But it does slow down before it hits them, which is pretty cool. I remember when the S9 just first came out, it was so aggressive. I'm glad to see that this one is not as aggressive as the S9 when it first came out, because that was crazy. It does pretty good navigating around the chair legs though, I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like it does alright. I'm not sure how much the camera is helping this, but it's hard to tell. Um, I'm wondering if in the app it'll show me like any of the obstacles it's seen on the floor. Um, I wonder if it'll show the chair leg. I know it'll show the cord for sure, but I'm not sure about the dog toy or the um, chair leg. I know it'll definitely show the poop, but that's kind of what we're waiting to get through here is seeing how well the poop does. See if I have to spend the afternoon cleaning up my poop or if it's going to be an easy, easy video today. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments down below. I do my best to um, respond to all comments and, you know, this is a newer robot. So if there's something specific you want to see, I don't have a problem putting it through the tests and just helping you guys out, make a decision if you're going to purchase this robot or not. All right, so as you can see, it's avoiding the cord pretty good. So that's a good thing. Um, as you can see, that cord that I have down here right on this side here. It's been eaten up a little bit from my S9 just because it's been stuck on the floor. And so having this unit that I'll avoid cords is pretty cool, to be honest. All right, so I might be coming full speed ahead for the poop here pretty quick. Uh, must have found some dirt or something in that corner, so it's doing a dirt detect. But I'm really anxious to see how well this thing does. If I have to dive in front of that thing to prevent it from sucking up poop, I will do that just because cleaning up poop from a robot vacuum is not fun at all. Lots of Q-tips. Lots of uh, alcohol swabs, not a lot, but enough to get the unit clean. So I didn't see it yet. It slowed down a little. Oh, there it saw it. Full speed ahead. Oh, it saw it again. That's freaking awesome. That is way too cool how, how this thing can sense that poop. I know I was watching a video from the CEO Colin Angle and he said that they spent hours and hours and hours doing different sizes and shapes of number two because there's so many different variations. They said they have over 100,000 images put in, which is absolutely crazy. I don't know, I'm really excited for this robot. I think this this is a great robot. It does what it says, it avoids objects and poop. Um, I know there's still a lot of improvement on what kind of objects it'll avoid, um, but over time I think it'll, it could be a really great robot. Uh, so far I'm really impressed with it. I really think I robot nailed all the park with this one. So I really hope I robot releases the J9 and it has double the suction power 
does just as good or not better at obstacle avoidance as the J7. But I really hope they do include a bigger battery just because, you know, the J7, I for my house, it works really good. It doesn't use a full battery unless I put it on a couple cleans. But I know there's a lot of you out there that have pretty large houses, so it would be nice to have a longer cleaning period. Um, if you follow Adam's tech reviews on YouTube here, he's actually going to be testing a newer battery that he found on Amazon that's supposed to last a lot longer than the original. So he's going to test that out and see if it, the robot puts out any errors or anything like that. And if it doesn't, I may actually buy that battery as well and see um, if it'll work for my house as well. Because sometimes I like to run my Roombas on two passes, just kind of do like a deep clean. So it'd be kind of nice to have it be able to get that done. Uh, in one shot instead of multiple different runs. I'm really interested to hear you guys' opinions. I want to see what you guys like or don't like about this unit if you have it. Uh, if you're considering getting it. Um, if there's, like I said, if there's specific tests you want to see, make sure you let me know because I, uh, I really want to improve my channel a little bit here and I'm trying to do my best to make do with what I got. As you can see, it just avoided that poop again there, so that's pretty good. That's been three or four times now it's avoided it, which is really great. I, I think this is a great robot. Um, I wish more robot vacuums had this technology to avoid poop. I know some of the lighter vacuums from Echovax uh, could avoid poop, but I'm not sure how much their technology differs from iRobot. I know they use LiDAR and a camera on the front as well. And I've never really seen uh, too much testing done with the AIVI. Um, I know Vacuum Wars tested it with fake poop and it did pretty well but I'm wondering how it would do with real poop. I'm assuming with fake poop it'd probably do okay um, with regular poop as well. So one kind of cool thing I've noticed when it docks itself, it's LED on the front of the robot will flash a couple times and make it gets brighter and goes back down. I think what it's doing is it's trying to scan that QR code on the base. Alright guys so there you have it the Roomba J7 successfully avoided poop. Um, it did pretty well with the cord as well. Uh, the table legs or the, excuse me, the chair legs uh, did okay. It didn't avoid them. I'm not sure it's because of the color black or if it's just something in the algorithm not set up yet. Um, I know as people start buying these more, they're going to update their database. Uh, the dog toy, uh, it, it kind of avoided it a little bit, but it still kind of pushed it around. So hopefully with future updates and other users going into the app and reviewing their photos or obstacles that they see on the floor, That'd be really cool for them to be able to push an update to it for it to avoid dog toys as well because I know a lot of people have pets with toys and stuff like that and there's nothing worse when they get stuck inside the rollers. Alright so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the app and I'm going to show you uh, the avoidance areas on the app. Alright guys so I'm in the iRobot home app here as you can see it's the Roomba J7. It's charging it's at the dock. So if I go into our cleaning history it's from today when we did the pooping run we click on here on the app and as you can see all these little boxes are obstacles so if we go into here under the map and kind of how much it cleaned we'll go under the cleaning area you can see it found two areas i'm not sure why it's not showing us the poop obstacle i'm not sure if that's just a little bug but anyways we can hit begin review and as you can see it saw part of the kennel which it thought it might have been a cord so we can contribute to the database that allow iRobot to go through and manually check each one of these photos to see uh, what it is and if it should add it to the database. I'm not going to add it to the database because it's not really an obstacle. It's, it's a kennel that's always there. So we're just going to hit no obstacle here. Now as you can see, I took a picture of the black cord, charging cord that I had. So I'm going to contribute to database because this is a cord. And I'm going to put temporary obstacle because obviously that cord is not going to sit there all the time. And we'll hit submit review. We'll give it a minute to submit. All right, now it says Roomba J7 is getting smarter thanks to your review. Your feedback helps improve Roomba J7. Learn how to handle different areas in your home. To clean up a Roomba J7 avoided, start a tidy up job. So that's pretty cool. So let's say all these obstacles are now moved. You can hit start tidy up and I'll actually go vacuum those areas that it avoided earlier, which is pretty freaking cool. I think it's really great that you can do this. If your kids have homework or toys or anything else on the floor or a pet brings out their toys, that'd be really great for this thing to go back and clean it up afterwards. So I'm gonna actually demonstrate that for you guys. All right, so as you can see, the Roomba J7 just started at the dock here after I hit tidy up. So let's see if it'll go over that poop area as well. 
I obviously picked it up by now, so it's not going to suck it up or anything like that. As you can see, I picked it up. The quarters came over in this general area. Poop was over here, and then the uh, chair was over there. And then it was seeing the end of this here, this little kennel thing. So as you can see, it's kind of going around that kennel over there just to um, kind of clean that up. I kind of thought that was an obstacle for some reason. I'm not sure if it was because uh, the charging cable was black in color and the kennel was black in color. So I'm not sure if that was the reason. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So when I went back out to clean those tidy up areas, it only did around the kennel. I'm not sure why I didn't do the area where the cord was. Um, it might just be a bug in the software. Let me know what you guys think about this test. Leave a comment down below uh, letting me know what you want to see. Please consider liking this video. It helps to push it to the top. Please also consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.